Have you ever heard about tsunami? Have you ever thought of the sources that can lead to a tsunami? Have you ever learned about the most disastrous tsunami that ever happened in history? No? Let's discuss it in today's video, which is all about tsunamis. A tsunami is defined as a series of large ocean waves usually caused by an underwater earthquake, volcanic explosions, landslides or a meteorite. These are the waves that can reach up to a height of over 100 feet. The word tsunami is a Japanese term that means harbor waves reflecting Japan's tsunami prone history. The first wave of the tsunami is not the strongest, but the waves after the first wave are quite bigger and stronger. A tsunami can travel up to the speed of about 500 miles or 805 km an hour, which is as fast as the speed of a jet plane, and it can cross the whole ocean in less than a day. The places that are at greater risk of tsunami are Washington, Hawaii, Oregon, Alaska and California. A tsunami can also poison the whole land with much salt, hence causing people to die with hunger and disease after it is gone. Deep inside the ocean, tsunamis are only 1 to 4 feet tall and the passer crossing the water may not even aware of the occurring tsunami under the water. Mostly, tsunamis happen within the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. In 2011, Japan tsunami was believed to be the world most expensive disaster recorded in the history. The best tool against tsunami is resilient infrastructure and early warning systems that allows people to seek higher ground. Education also play a vital role in saving people and protecting their assets against tsunami risk in the future. The city that is at greater risk of facing a tsunami is Hawaii, located in the US. This city gets about one tsunami every year and the severe one every seven years. The grand tsunami that occurred in Hawaii happened in 1946. Based on the calculations, using the depth of the water, distances from one place to another and the time that the earthquake or other event occurred, scientists can accurately estimate when a tsunami will arrive almost anywhere around the world. If getting stuck in the tsunami, instead of doing swimming, it is suggested to grab a floating object and allow the current to carry you. Hope you enjoyed learning about tsunamis. If you want to watch more interesting videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.